seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved from the Sons of Anarchy with a K modded server. And there's been some changes, guys. I got some things to fill you in on. First and foremost, if you end up enjoying this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. And there's been some changes to the Crystal Isles map, right? They did a lot of bug fixes. They added some biomes. They spread out some spawns. Everything is amazing, right? Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, right? No, not awesome. Not awesome. And I'll show you why not awesome. Everything seems like it should be awesome. Except there's giant boulders. <laughs> giant boulders growling. Growling. Growling and growing and bowling and flowing in my house. <laughs> and it's making me pretty angry. So now I got all this cleanup. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard, really. But when I spawned in and I saw there was boulders all in my freaking house. At least it's not trees, too. This should actually be halfway easy to get rid of. <laughs> but there's so many boulders in my house, guys. <sighs> In the worst places, too. <laughs> so anyways, you may be wondering, Rocky, what's the plan for today? Like, what's on the agenda? And, I, and I'll tell you what. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's on the agenda. I feel like I was going to set an agenda, and then I, I logged in and noticed that there was giant boulders in my house. Oh, this could be a problem if there's boulders in these rooms. Hello? <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. This <laughs> This makes my crafting room slightly less functional. Although, I mean, it does add a more natural feel. No, no, no. Spin that bad boy around. Okay, can I harvest you, please? That would be amazing. I do have some things in mind, though. So, first and foremost, oh, I gotta show you guys this after I get rid of this rock, which is apparently gonna take a year and a half. There we go. Let me show you guys this. I've been drop hunting a little bit. I hate how the beard goes in, like, it tucks into my, it makes me mad. Um. I've been drop hunting a little bit, and so I got a 675% weapon damage ascendant long rifle and a 553% uh, shotgun out of drops. Whatever. I don't even remember. They were both purple drops, I think. And I've got everything else I get is saddles. I don't get nothing good. I got, like, some decent chitin gauntlets out of a drop, too. I don't ever get baller armor like the rest of them do. I'm going to be weighed down, aren't I? Well, that's a whole dadgum thing. So in regards to that stuff, I was trying to make Pugnacia Trank Darts, and I realized that with our settings right now, the... Uh, let me see, do I got them in here? Yeah. Uh, I could only make 27. With our settings right now, spoiled meat is like a big deal. It's a big, big deal. And I think that vultures on Pugnacia actually spoil meat pretty much instantly. So what I think I'm going to do is maybe try and find a vulture first and foremost. Not that that's going to be the entire, like, epicness of the episode, but uh, let's... Can I put this stuff in here? Fantastic. No! I thought I got rid of this boulder. I hope these don't regrow. But, um, so there's something like that that I might want to go and do. I also, oh god, I gotta fill you in on this. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking while I'm getting rid of boulders. It's gonna be so many boulders. Okay, crafting room cleaned up. Crafting room cleaned up. Please tell me there's not any in the bedroom. Ah, oh, thank god. This is my most prized possession. All the work I did in here. Woo! Okay, so... I checked that room. Check this out, guys! Oh, sweet! I was pretty sure there were boulders in here. T-Bunny, so this is what we did. And I know I talked about it in a previous episode. Uh, we took out the middle section there and made this baller freaking kitchen. And when I say me, I wasn't even online when it happened. <laughs> T-Bunny most definitely built this kitchen for me. But it's pretty epic. Like, I think it looks amazing. And the fact that we got, like, this huge dining room right here, it just fits perfectly. We might can put something up there. That'll be my contribution. <laughs> but um, I think these over here are actually fridges. I'm hoping that my bacon's in there. I can't remember where I, where I put it. <laughs> uh huh. It's probably on the turtle. Are there? Yep. Yep. Can I get? <laughs> Maybe I can go in this side. Nope. No, I can't. Oh sweet Jesus! Come on. Good lord, it does not like when that stone breaks. It gets me a little bit framey. That's, a, that's one of the sad things about them optimizing this map a little bit, too. Is that, um, apparently this whole pink biome is gonna run a little bit better now. The pink tree biome, whatever, I don't even know what you call this area over here. The pale grove is gonna run a little bit better for people. And I really liked that it lagged people out, because it discouraged them from coming over here. 
Bacon? Bacon. Cool. Oh, and I better not forget this. So I log in. Steel Blade's name's been changed to Paint Blade. <laughs> Wielding the most dangerous weapon of all, the paintbrush. Got a pretty little heart painted on it. So I started investigating. Let's see if we can find any clues. Hmm. No, no, nothing. Oh, I bet it was Scotty. This is, this is, this is what I deal with on a daily basis. This is my life. I have some changes to the castle to show you guys. In addition to that amazing kitchen that she built. Uh, well, first, let me just fill you in. Starburst died. I know. Apparently, I parked him, like, over by our little temporary base, our original temporary base over there. And, uh, I forgot to bring him back. And a Therizina, no, a Thyla killed it. So, that was amazing. Also, I just noticed, check this out. The pink flowers that were normally just hanging out at the bottom. Is that a Diplo? Call us a uh, boy. Are now floating on the water, which I don't think was a thing before. That looks really, really cool. That looks really pretty. I I'm a fan of that. Dad! Oh, no. We still haven't put it. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can use this rock to get back up. Because we have still not put a... Yes! I'm going to leave that rock there. That's my new favorite rock. So Starburst is dead. If you remember whenever I think we were taming the mammoths, I uh, borrowed some... Pteranodons from the community base. This is one of them. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it and hope nobody misses it. Um, options. Change name. I thought about naming it Star Cursed. I mean, because that would just be fitting. But I think I'm going to name it Chili Pepper. Just looks like that color to me. Ba boom. All right. And this thing is stupid fast. Let me show you some of the changes to the castle. <laughs> I got to, like, inch my way out of here. Now, let me just walk out. Let me just walk out. That might be a little bit better. You guys are really going to dig this. This is another thing. I did help her a little bit with this, but mostly this is T-Bunny. Boom. We've kind of got a top layer that's getting added on to the castle, and that's probably as tall as it'll get. I don't think we have a staircase up to here yet, but it's in the works. Uh, I really like the way that she brought these pillars up in the front to kind of continue the ones with the doorway. And then it looks like we have uh, right in through here ugh, uh, a flyer area <laughs> where we can store some flyers. This feather light's not mine. I think actually that it might be Wombat and Mr. Fisters from a stream or something. It was just kind of randomly hanging out and T-Bunny brought it back to the base. Uh, so we got this little area for flyers eventually. And then there's like this big empty area that's not finished down here. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this. We could always put like a teleporter in here and store some dinos in here. We could use this as our nursery because we can always teleport dinos out. Uh, a mammoth, it's probably the biggest thing that would fit in here. There's going to be a lot that wouldn't. But it would still be kind of cool. If you guys have ideas for that space, certainly let me know. All right. So I think that's filling you in mostly. Is there something up here? Something I don't even know about up there? What's that door? Why is there a random? Hold on. Why is there a door to nowhere with a platform on it? I swear to God, if I go in here and there's like, okay. <laughs> How am I going to get up to that? One second. If I go in here, maybe I can just drop. Maybe I can drippity drop drop. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I bottomed out. Come on. No. If there's something scary in here, I'm going to be real peeved off. Okay, where's it at? I got to plan this perfectly. Uh. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get over it anyways. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Here we go. Here we go. You boys got a plan. If I just get right up next to it and dismount, maybe. Can I land there? Oh, no. Right here. Uh, dismount, dismount. No! Oh, God, it fits through the door. Oh, my God. <laughs> I spent all that time trying to get through there, and it just goes to the flyer area. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, man. Yep, that's me. So we talked about the vulture, right? That's an option. The other thing is... While I was thinking about how I was sad because Starburst died, not really. I mean, Starburst was awesome, but, you know, not hard to replace. I started thinking about other flyers, and it would be kind of cool to go get a Crystal Wyvern. I think that would be really neat. But I think they tame up with crystals that you get from killing other Crystal Wyverns, and I haven't done that. So maybe I could take my zombie quests and do that. The other thing that I had in mind, maybe, for this episode is to go out and get... What's it under? Maybe Normal? Uh, death worm. In Pugnacia, death worms are tameable and rideable. You knock them out. They take uh, Argentavis kibble, looks like. So let's go ahead and make some Argentavis kibble. What do the vultures take? I want to have everything on me just in case. Normal. Vultures. Blah, 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 bl
vultures. They take bold meat. <laughs> How did I not know that? Okay, so I'm going to have to dig around for some spoiled meat. I'm going to have to get some Argentavis kibble. No biggie. One more thing, guys. One more thing. <laughs> I'm just hanging out around the base. Whole episode, I'm just going to run around the base. Where's my... Oh, no. My quest is up top. This guy is finally up to... What are we? 1,400% movement speed. We've got, He's making all the cementing paste and organic polymer in the world. Let's close that. I don't want to try and ride him out of there. So what I think I'm going to do real quick is grab my zombie quets, pick it up, lay it out somewhere where I can get some... Where I can get some space to get to going. And then we'll check out that movement speed real quick. Coming in hot. Snatch it up. Perfect. Perfect. I have noticed that since they did the uh, changes to the map. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say since they did the changes to the map. I haven't noticed as many spawns over here. Guess what? Two dire bears. No biggie. Drop that. And let's take the costume off of it. Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like last time I rode this, it had like 500% movement speed. This is going to be a whole... Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait! I forgot it was on the water! Are you serious? No! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Dang it! Where'd my snail go? Turbo, come back! Turbo? We may have lost Turbo. Turbo! It's in the water! Oh, no! Okay. I can do this. I can handle this. <laughs> I forgot it was on Wander. No. Turbo, you freak. Are you in here still? Good God. Like, it almost can't even keep up with how... Oh, hey. Come back. Come back. I think I whistled it. Turbo, turbo, turbo. 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 Where is the stupid snail? Where is the snail? It's flying. <laughs> it's flying. Turbo, stop. Stay put, buddy. I'm coming to you. Please don't drop. Stop. Turbo, stop. One second. I think I might have my group whistles wrong. Where are you? Dang it. Snail, stop playing games with me. Stop. Snail. Stop. Stop. Okay, I got to get on this snail right now. Oh! Oh no! I can't control where I'm going! I'm gonna drown! Vwing! 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 This is totally Tokyo Drift style. You have to start calling me a little bow out. Vwomp! Vwomp! Vwing! My god. I think that I saw that Rock. Uh, <laughs> I think I saw that Rocky. I think I saw that Wombat has one of these too. I totally gotta get with him and race these things. Either with his trilobite or with his actatina. Because this is stupid. This is just stupid fast. I may even, I may have to go out exploring on this eventually. All right, so that's what? 1,500% movement speed. We got lots of levels to go yet, guys. So I'm going to keep just pumping them levels. I wonder how fast his is. Because if it's any faster than this, I don't want anything to do with it. Sweet Lord Jesus. Okay, look. Let's go ahead and put this costume back on you. Because I don't want to, I don't want to mess up again. I don't want to lose you again like that. Put that there. Now we can put you back on... Oh, you were still on Wandering. I just got to take you off follow. Perfect. You stay put. Let's just drop you off right in here and not touch you again for a long time. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Take you back to your parking spot here. All right. So, like I said, maybe a Crystal Wyvern? Maybe a Vulture? Maybe a Deathworm? Let me go make that kibble before I forget. So you'll find out what we're doing when I find out what we're doing. I have had absolutely zero luck finding a single crystal wyvern. So I flew over here to the desert area. Let's see if I can fly low and maybe have some better luck finding a death worm. Doesn't look like I'm overheating and maybe that comes from the awesome gear. There's definitely still. What is that up there? Whoa, is that like an alpha? What am I looking at? Hold up. Skeletal fire wyvern. I feel like there's a solid chance I don't want to mess with that. Dude, there's skeletal something else. What is that? Hold up. What are you? Skeletal carno. What is that? <laughs> there's all kinds of craziness over here. Skeletal quetzal. 
I mean, I wonder if these things just tame exactly like... Whoa, death worm. <laughs> what is that? It's already like above the ground. Hold up. I really want to tame that. It looks amazing too. So are they just above the ground like that? Oh God, there's another alpha wyvern. Because if they're just hovering above the ground like that, then that makes them super easy to find. look at it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, if there's... <laughs> If they're hovering above the ground like that, then uh, that would make them super easy to find. So I could come back and find that one. Maybe I can find something a little higher than level 360. What is that? Oh, it's a basilisk for sure. Okay, what level are you? You're not as cool as the other one. 240, ew. I don't want to see if it's about to attack that titan. Nah, I feel like we have to watch this go. What? Is that a Rex? Giga? Oh, jeez. Oh, did you just stomp that deathworm's face in? What's that, a skeletal bronto? There's so much cool stuff over here. Basilisk. Looking like this 360 may be the way to go. Other than, what is that right there by it? Oh, that's the quets. That shouldn't be aggressive, right? Maybe. Oh, there's a literally. What level is that? How afraid should I be of this? One second. How afraid should I be of you? I'm on a zombie quets 360. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yo, what's up? Why does this feel like it's gonna kill me? No, it's literally, oh, that is actually hitting me kind of hard. Do I get anything special for killing you? Can I chew your butt? Or are you gone? Oh, you're back. <laughs> it's a magician. Let's go then. Let's go then. I had to look and make sure it wasn't hurting my health, which it doesn't seem to be. I wonder what its health is. This could be a click fest for quite a while. It's gone. He gone. Oh, a wyvern bone costume added. All right. While this is distracted, actually, let me take care of some. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't want to hit that vulture. Maybe that vulture won't aggro me. Uh, okay. So I got the trank darts in here. Boom. Good God. The quets moved at the last second. This thing seems to be going around wrecking everything. You know what? I didn't want you to shoot again. I wanted you to jam up. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. Hopefully I can outrun this thing. Am I going to hit it today or no? Chris Cow! Come on, man. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, that hits kind of hard. I need to get some distance. Off. Did I not hit it? Can I get on it? Sweet Lord Jesus. It says it hit me for 2,600. Okay. Get on it. <laughs> I don't know which one of the, I don't know if the Trank darts or the Trank gun is going to do more damage. I'm just going to go back and forth between the two so it'll actually load this. Come on, 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 get on. Woo, that was last second. All right, here we go. You forgot about me? Ugh, I hate the loading on this stupid gun. Chris Kyle. Sounds like I missed. Maybe the arrows are the way to go. The loading is a whole thing. We really don't want it to pass out with, uh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Ah! It hits so hard. I feel like that would instantly kill me. Uh, uh, get on. Woo. This is the best way to do it, apparently. Just keep on kiting it. Let's go with the gun. Let's go with the gun then. My god, this is pointless. This is pointless. This is pointless. This is pointless. Ah! Woo. <laughs> I couldn't have cut it any closer than that. Yeah. Hope you learned your lesson. Uh, 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 get on. <laughs> the hard part is going to be getting this back home. I wonder if a pickup relic will work with a uh, death worm. That would be something. Can I please hit you? Uh, one more, one more. Get on. Oh my God, he hit me that time. That's fine. I don't even care because all you did was cool me off. I needed to be. Oh my God, I'm half dead. One second. <laughs> 
drink a little water. At least we heal back pretty quickly in this mod. Get back down here. I can't cut it that close anymore. It's going to have to be straight arrows. The question is, why am I even landing, right? Can I just hover above? I forget that in Pugnacia, my Quetz is half dead. Holy cow. I forget in Pugnacia, this will actually just sit here and not lose stamina, I don't think. Oh, I feel so smart. That's usually about the time that something comes and wrecks my face. Come on. Uh oh, I hit the Quetz. That's not good. Last thing I want to do is knock my Quetz out. Is it down? I think it passed out. Oh my God. I love the moving sound underneath it. Not sound, sand. Put that on there. And let's try not to die. Let's try not to die. Whoo! I meant to say I love the moving sand underneath it. And let me see, is there anything bad? Because you can totally hear like the rumble. You hear that? It sounds amazing. What are the stats on this thing? 57,000 health uh, and 360% melee as of right now. Oh God, that Torpor is falling way fast. This Torpor is getting super sketchy and he hasn't even eaten one. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I think I've got... Yes. Oh, yes. Thank God. Sometimes I'm prepared, believe it or not. With or without T-Bunny, every once in a while, I know what I'm doing. Boom. Food done. Can we? Can we? Oh, it's happening now. It's happening right now. I hope these things don't need a saddle. One more bite, maybe? Why would it? <laughs> it shot up so fast. Two more. One more bite, maybe? There's so much. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to worry about. Ooh. I'm going to go over there. I'm not going to worry about naming you. Can I ride? <laughs> you got to get. That's kind of cool. Get in the sand. It hurt me that much just jumping off of it. I've always wondered what it looked like in the Deathworm's nether regions, and now I know. And when you hop off, you can totally just stand here? Dude, that's so cool. Let me ride you. Let me let me ride you. What do we got here? 79,000 health, 20,000 weight, 598 melee damage. We totally got to check this thing out. Let me put you on follow. I'm so scared to try and use a pickup relic on this. Will this thing, like, destroy my face? That's the question. 600 Titanosaur. Not messing with that. How about this thing instead? <laughs> oh my god! I mean, still, you know what? I'm like super... Okay, can we not? Can we not? What? One second. I gotta change the follow distance on this stupid thing. Get up here. Okay, please stop. Please stop. Behavior. Follow distance. Highest. Ride this guy. All right. Like, I'm, I'm so super impressed with it, but at the same time, like, nothing has lived up to my Gigantopithecus. And I don't know if it ever will. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Get... That's an alpha track. Get wrecked! That health, though, is actually really nice. Trite bone costume. How many points do I have already? Ten. Let's ride around and wreck things on this. What can we do against the Primal RG? Yeah, this is probably gonna be like a 600 and I'm immediately gonna regret it. Cause it looks amazing. Mantis. <laughs> That's not the Primal RG. Boom! It was absolutely a level 600. <laughs> Dang it! I'm trying to look for, what is that? What is that? One second. It's a unicorn with a rainbow shooting out of its butt and it's level 400. I feel like that has to happen, right? Let me look in here. Category, normal, unicorn. Would that be all the way down the bottom? What does this do? Eat his poop to gain an experience buff. Shoots rainbow out, seems, <laughs> shoots rainbows out of his butt cloaca. You are welcome. Instant golden kibble, troodon kibble. Rock carrot me all stuff I don't have. I don't have any of that mess. Dad gummit. There's unicorns, guys, with rainbows that shoot out of their out of their butthole. Dang it. 
Okay, well, I know where one's at. We can always come back and get that. I'm trying to find a decent leveled. You're not a vulture at all. I'm trying to 32 levels. All right, what happens if I pump one? 82,000. It might be worth it to get this guy up to at least 100. Pump that melee on up a little bit. A little bit. Oh my God. This is amazing. I'm trying to find a decent level vulture. That would just round the day out for me. We got to test it against something decent, right? We might as well fight this. If it like hovers above me where I can't hit it, that would kind of be, oh, I two shot that thing. Bring it. What is, oh, I've still got the burn damage on me. Bronto, you're next. What is this? Oh, somebody's been up here. Oh, I think, I think I saw, that's exactly what Wombat was taming too. This must be where he tamed his zombie titanosaur. There's a level 600 right there. Good to know that that's here and that there's one of those there though. I think all of the titanators, uh, titanators are level 600. This thing's gotta have like a trillion health. Boom, boom. I hit it twice and killed it. It's still no, it's still no steel blade, but it'll do. It's doing the job, that's for sure. How bad will that Titanosaur wreck me? Yeah, they're all 600. I don't even know why I'm looking at the level. Oh man, Titan, no. Yes, yes. I don't know if I, surely I can outrun it, right? That's gotta be a thing. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put an extra couple points in here. And by a couple, I mean one because that's all I had. Take it. Just don't kill me or, oh my God, this thing hits like a truck. Oh, I might have to fail. Dude, I'm half health. Who said mess with the Titanosaur? Why did y'all let me do that? Don't let me make decisions. Where's T-Bunny? <laughs> oh. oh no, my, seriously, my zombie quest just blocked me. <laughs> oh my God. Look how quick this thing heals up though. All right, fine then. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you about to get, but don't kill my zombie quest that's stuck inside of you. No! <laughs> Why? Dang it! Who lets me decide to do stuff? I think it's stuck. On the corpse of <laughs> Pick up Relic! Why? No! How am I gonna get back home? <laughs> oh. That makes me so sad in my heart. Well, got him. <laughs> oh, it, that killing that gave me Graylin potions. Yeah, I put two right over here. And it gave me the Panacea tonic, remedy for healing. Um, acetylcholine, this tonic will release an organic chemical from your hypothalamus that will secrete the chemical acetylcholine. This chemical will wake you up and give you some pep in your step. So it's, I guess it's like a stimulant. Uh, it's hard to be happy. Hard to be happy about that when when we've got this bag right here. This bag is all that's left of my boy. Pick up relic, my girl, pick up relic. <laughs> I'll take those and I'll take the chitin and I'll take, I don't even care about that saddle. <sighs> this is a sad, sad day. I may have to get with somebody and see if they can bring me back home. <laughs> I'm stranded in the desert. This is a whole thing. Um, What do I want points into? Let's just go ahead and put some more points into fortitude. Seems like maybe I can use it. Dang it. So terrible news. <laughs> Wombat's not on. D-Bunny's not on. Gotti's not on. Nobody's on. There's nobody around. I can't get anybody. I can't get anybody to come pick me up. Apparently they all have lives. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm scooching ever so slowly back to the base. Uh, this is why some of you guys have recommended like, hey, bring a teleporter with you. Nah, nah, bruh. That's stupid. Why would I do that? I don't need to change that out. That's dumb. Why would I need to bring a teleporter with me? Oh, I know. Because now I'm stranded in the desert. That's why. We've got a really long ways to go too. And I don't know this map like the back of my hand. Why did all that just drop out of the sky? What is happening? What releases Ovises to attack you? There's Nameless and Ovis coming after me right now. Okay, fine. If you guys want to play this game, I'll play. 
Hovis minion. What is... Okay. Moving right along. Another nameless. More Ovis. <laughs> Check out this big... Does this thing take fall damage? Don't fall over dead. Don't fall over dead. It doesn't look like it took any at all. Check out this big fat double R. <laughs> we really got to tame one of those and name it Wombat. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's about to get jumped by a bunch of Ovis. Let's see what happens. Are you going to fight back or are you just stand there thinking about food? No? Okay. Name this die. I really want to tame one of those things. That's part of the Dragon Punk mod. <laughs> it's amazing looking. He did. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having a nice little journey. This has actually been kind of a blessing. I get to see some of the changes on the map. There's another one of those big fat things. I get to see some of the changes in the... What is that? A glacial direwolf? It was. It was a 600! Crap! Because I have amazing saddles for those. Am I encumbered or why am I still... Oh, I'm like frozen. Yeah, so this is a blessing in disguise, guys. This whole time, I knew that I should have got my zombie quests killed so I could walk all the way, literally... Let me see if I can pull it up. Literally from across the map. Like, <laughs> I was down at the very southern corner, and I have to go way up by, uh, let's see, I got to go that way. Pretty much the northern part of the map. So this is going to be a pretty special little trip we're going to get to take together. I'm sure we'll see some sights. Actually, what I would like to do, if I can find another zombie Quetzal, is going down. Well, it looks like we've got a... I think that's a Crystal Wyvern. What is that? Are you a Crystal Wyvern? It looks like it. Yeah, I want to attack this. And maybe I'll get one of those... Oh, my God! Hold on. Where'd it go? Oh, it's dead. That's a level 720? I feel a little bit stupid now. Did that... <laughs> Dang it! Maybe I should have paid attention. Did that give me some kind of special, like... It gave me a Fire Talon. Was that... No, it said it was a Crystal Wyvern, 100%. Uh, Sulfur... Oh, there we go. That's probably it. Primal Crystal. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use to tame the Crystal Wyverns. I probably need to kill a couple of them, but Dad Gummit, that was a level 720. Not like I'd have been able to tame it with the crystals I have on it anyways. One of the good things, I think what I'm going to do is pump a little bit of movement speed into this guy. One of the good things about being on a Death Worm is literally nothing has aggroed me. I mean, the only things that, that have aggroed me anyways are the Nameless. So it's been like zero issue. They're in their Ovis mob squad. Have not been an issue for me at all. I'm going to try. I would really like to. Oh, that's kind of tempting. I would really like to find another zombie quest. <laughs> I'm just kind of roaming around. I don't know if I'm any closer to. It's been like 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm any closer to the base than I was last time I cut in. <laughs> oh, God. What am I going to do? Ride right up the volcano? This should be a whole thing. But I'm going to try and find another zombie quest. That would make the trip home a little bit easier. Oh, God. Can I, like, get over this stuff? That's actually... Look at this thing. It's amazing. Nothing keeps it down. Don't ride, like, into lava, please. Yeah, it's a mistake. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I actually finally made it back to the base. I got turned around, like, there were three or four times that I looked at my map, and I was in the complete... I was going the complete wrong direction. Let me hop off and close this. Not that it matters since stuff is falling in from above. Okay, I forgot your own follow. One second. Let me take this dude off follow. Yeah, things are still falling in from above. So we might have to put like some glass walls or something up there that I won't notice. Otherwise, it'll bug me. Can I get on you? I want to be on you, please. Thank you. All right, so there's a terrestrial bl blonto. Terrestrial blonto here. Level 540. Uh, these provide like a, a big like AOE buff for dinos. But um, AOE this, bruh. What if these have mega health? Nope. Sure don't. <laughs> they, they crumple like little pieces of paper. So this thing is pretty beastly. Like, okay, it doesn't do the amount of damage as Steel Blade, but it does have 100,000, 130,000 health. So this may be our close, uh, closest. How do I even say this? This may be our, mo <laughs> this may be, <laughs> maybe... Right now, this is our best option for killing ancients. I don't even know what I was trying to say, to be real honest. I was going to say, like, for this period in time, this is the best option for us to pursue <laughs> a defeating ancient rexes and such. But it was <laughs> it was not coming out that way. So you guys have already seen me kind of beast stuff on this, but that health is the most impressive thing of all. 
It's just incredible. I can't believe that I didn't see a single zombie quet on the way back. I was totally going to tame a replacement for the pickup relic. And now I've got to try and find time to do it some other time. I don't know what these things are. Maybe I should look that up before I fight it. I think they're called wisps or something. I'm not even going to look there. Let's see what a wisp is. Something's charging me up. I'm not sure if I should be afraid. Believe it or not, this was added just to make people read the book. You will actually tame the dino with this book. Put it in your zero slot as you would any other passive tame and bingo. Only way to tame them. These are nice, neutral, lightning-based wisps. What is attack? This is really inconvenient. This is really inconvenient. Seriously? A diplo of all things. Come on, bro. I'm trying to tame a wisp. Wisp? Did I kill the wisp? I think I killed the wisp. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> Sweet mother of God. Oh, there's the wisp. Okay. Also, I realized that the freaking... It's this death worm putting out all this heat. All right, I need to put this in my zero slot. But ba boom Let's go tame some wisps. Let's tame some wisps for the win. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Tame, 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 tame. Uh... Tame, tame, tame. <laughs> tame, tame. Tame, 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 tame. Tame, 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 Got him. Got him. This is kind of... Where the crap did that go? Is that... Are you it? Oh, you're it. Dude, this is really cool. Look how pretty I am, guys. I have a wisp following me. Look how cool this is. I don't even know. Does this thing have stats? Do you have stats? Let's see. You have 2,900 health and 751 melee damage. I feel like I need to see if you can actually attack something. Uh, <laughs> this may get it killed. I don't know. This I, I tamed a little li light wisp so it would cheer me up, guys. Because freaking the freaking pickup relic died. And you guys aren't even proud of me. You feel like I, I didn't see one happy expression on your face. It's a pretty little wisp to make me feel better about myself. And you guys aren't even happy for me. Selfish. <laughs> it's just selfish. I want to dead where we're in groups. Add creature to group. Let's just put you in group four, okay? Group four. You should be the only thing. Now. Now, Wisp. Get him, bruh. Get him, bruh. What if this thing like hits for like a hundred thousand? <laughs> Get him, bruh! Oh no no no. Come back, Wisp! Go <laughs> okay. That's enough. That's enough. Come to daddy. Come to daddy, Wisp. We'll put you in the castle and never use you again. Anyways, guys, <laughs> that's probably where we're going to call this one. Um, we got Pick Up Relic killed, but we did get a pretty awesome Death Worm. And I feel like this is, like I was saying, our closest option in time <laughs> to be able to kill an Ancient Rex. If we were able to get all the levels into this, and I think this lets like 200 and close to 300 levels post-tame, we'll be able to pump into this guy. So we could get probably close to 200,000 health and a ton of melee. So if we had maybe just... Maybe even just him. I don't know if he could solo it. But if we had a couple of these, we'll be able to take out Ancient Rexes pretty soon and be able to get some Golden Kibbles so we can tame some Primal stuff and advance a little further in the taming route of the game. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Leave some condolences for Pickup Relic. It was my favorite dino. No, I'm lying. It was a second favorite dino up to this point. You know, it is what it is. Things happen. It shouldn't have been flying so close. You could fly. Why were you on the ground? That's all I got to ask. And until we meet again, look how pretty. I feel, I feel better. I'm not angry. Amen.